Hi everyone, it's me. Um, I actually have something to tell you all. And... It's not gonna be easy. Sorry, I'm... I wrote this letter in hopes that in hopes that this makes it easier to say. I just hope after this you all still love me. You always tell me, you always have said you'd love me no matter what. I want to be honest with you. I do, I hate lying. I hate lying to myself to the people around me, it's time. It, I'm sorry, I'm so emotional right now. It's time I tell you guys the truth. I don't wanna lie anymore. I don't. Okay. This is really important, guys, please. Please hear me out. Dear family and friends, and to whomever takes the time to listen to me through this. This may be one of the hardest things I've ever needed to say in my life. I know you love me because you've always told me so. I love you too. That's why right now, I wanna be bluntly honest with you all. I'm here to tell you that I'm not happy with the way I've had to hide the real me away in fear. I'm scared of being judged. I hate hiding behind this stupid shell. I just want to be myself for once in my life. No one has forced me into this choice. And I only say it's a choice because that's what the world has decided to call this. I hate that some people think every person like me chose this. For whatever reason, it's not true. We don't just wake up one day and say, this is what I want. Please understand that. I didn't wake up and say, I want this. I was born this way. I was born this way. I am proud to say God loves me for me and me alone, for who I am. And my Jesus loves everyone. And my family knows I believe that more than anything else. Because that's what I was told. That's what growing up I was taught. He loves everybody unconditionally. He loves me unconditionally. I've been with boys in the past. I went with them not for attraction, but because of personality. However, it soon became clear to me I only wanted to be friends with guys. And I, I have met some amazing guys. Don't get me wrong. Sorry. I've met some amazing guys and I commend them for being the kind of guys that give other guys a great name. And just to be clear, any girl or guy would be lucky to have them as a partner. 
I've been with also very few guys in my lifetime that have ever hurt me. There's been a fair share of those who have, have but in all honesty, I have been hurt by guys. I've been hurt by everybody. Somebody, at least once in their life, has hurt me one time or another. Sorry. I know they didn't mean to. And maybe it was totally unintentional, which I'm sure it was, but somebody has always, you know, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. I'm just so nervous about this. I just need to tell you. Okay. I'm going to continue to read. But you get my point. There are amazing guys out there. There really are. I've met them. I know them. I love those guys. They're guys that any girl or guy could dream to be with. Okay. However, despite the guys being so loving, the ones that I did like, the ones that I actually felt something for, I was never romantically attracted to them. I never wanted to be with a guy romantically. I thought I did. I didn't. Here I wrote, however my motivation was never there towards being with them romantically. I forced myself into doing so because I knew, given my gender, it was my only option. Because that's the only thing I've ever been told, is that because I'm a girl, my only option was to be with a guy. That, that was always how it was. But the truth is that was not making me happy at all. What made me happy was the thought that my own gender couldn't limit me on who I was meant to love. If you haven't guessed by now, I'm here to tell you I'm here to tell you all that I'm gay. There, I said it. Dear God, it feels so good to say it. <laughs> I'm gay. I'm gay. I, I said it. After all this time, I finally said it. I understand. If you want no further contact with me after this video has been uploaded. It will be difficult, but I respect your choice. <laughs> this shouldn't be causing me this so much pain. I'm actually happy. I'm blessed to be this way. Because God made me this way. It's who I am. <laughs> I'm just scared. I'm scared of losing people. I'm scared of losing my friends and family over this. But I can't lie anymore. So whatever happens, please, please God. <laughs> please let you please let them accept me I hope you can all see how hard this is how hard this is for me to say but I'm only saying this because I've known such a long time I've been so scared to tell anybody. 
I've been lying to myself and to others just to just to cover up how I truly felt. And I'm sorry if this makes somebody hate me. But I need to be myself. It's time I am myself and I'm tired of living a lie. Please understand how hard this is. However, through all this, I want you to know I'm still me. I'm still Renee. Still the girl you've known your entire life, or part of your life, or however long you've known me. I'm still me. It doesn't change a thing that I'm gay. And if I didn't believe with every bit of my being that this is who I am, I wouldn't be saying this right now. I'm only crying because I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose anybody. I'm happy to tell you the truth. It feels so good. But at the same time, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. This hurts so much knowing that, sorry. Knowing that I could lose some of the people I've been closest to my entire life because, because I'm gay. I still love all of you. I still love all of you unconditionally, no matter what. Even if you've chosen to turn your back on me now at this point, which is your choice, and I feel bad that I've put you through so much pain just by coming out like this. I know there are people in my family that are gonna be so hurt by this. <laughs> I know it's gonna hurt them deeply. It's gonna scar their insides. It's going to tear them apart. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry I've made you so sad, but I have to be honest with you. I just hope you could all do the same. Please. Please understand. I'm just gonna take a moment of silence pose myself. And if you're watching this right now, know that I love you. I love you more than words can say, more than actions can show. I'm not doing this for attention. I'm doing this because I hate lying to you. I'm doing this because I've dismissed this subject so many times out of complete fear. Every time somebody said something so bad in front of me, every time somebody's questioned me about it, I dismissed it because I was afraid and I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I should have just said it. I should have just said it. <laughs> Please forgive me. I was born this way. This is who I am. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much for watching. This is Renee. 2018. 20 years old. I'm finally doing this. 
Oh my gosh, it feels so good. Finally, this weight can be lifted off my chest. Finally, I can be honest with everybody. And I'm sorry this video is 15 minutes long, but please, if you've made it to the end of this video, I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye for now.